A wild one here, fellas, at least after seven innings. Once again, the Mets show that they are never out of any game. Anthony, what's your biggest takeaway from this particular come from behind moment? Well, I mean, we talk about these things, uh, Julie, where these teams that sort of have destiny in, in their vision, right? Uh, they have these incredible things happen during the season. And I look at a home run by a guy like Nick Plummer. I mean, you know, he's a depth piece, a guy that they signed in the offseason and they were interested in, and maybe he could come up and do some things. And, boy, he sure did, right? I, that home run was enormous. I mean, the Mets could have been dead. A, a lesser team would have been dead after the way that the, the, the late game uh, had been going there. And then the, the Mets get their Nick Plummer, boom, and it's out of there. They're all tied up. It's incredible. Think about it, Anthony. They've had two games this week. One were on the right side of it Sunday against the Phillies. The other one against the Giants where they're down big, but they're never out of a game. It's such a great compliment to have across the board for the New York Mets. They're down six runs. They're down a run after Adam Adovino gives up this bomb to Nick Castellanos. And in comes Nick Plummer. I give you credit because I needed to do a little Wikipedia or Google search. I'm like, Nick, who? Who's in the lineup tonight for the New York Mets? He comes up in the ninth inning, hits a game-tying home run. And then how about Escobar? The snow cone catch to start off extra innings and then ends up walking it off. The Mets have everything going right now, Julie. We've seen it now for two months. There's an it factor. There's a feel that you see and you sense amongst winning teams. They have it. Okay, so they have the it factor. They also have the largest lead in the division that they've ever had on Memorial Day at eight and a half games. This is usually a good measuring stick for how good a team is. Anthony, can they continue this pace? You know, I think they can, Julie, and it blows my mind, that particular stat, by the way, because I certainly immediately think of the 86 Mets, and I actually looked up the number, and they were six games ahead at this point wow. in the season. Yeah, so this team is, is, you know, two and a half games in front of the 86 Mets for whatever that extrapolation over the decades is worth, but it's still, it's amazing what they've been able to do, and look, I think the Braves are going to make a run at some point because they're just too talented, they're too deep, Ronald Acuna is going to get it all together, and I think they're going to, you know, make something uh, make a little run at the Mets here but uh, but the Mets have proven uh, you know at least thus far that they are solid in almost every phase they've taken some gut punches and come back from them I mean JJ you know this is a good team and this is not just mojo it's excellent baseball too Absolutely. I'm proclaiming this division is over. <laughs> it is over. And look, I know the Atlanta Braves are going to be heard from. I respect them a ton. They won the World Series last year. They've had the Mets number over the last couple of years. I think they have a good chance to be a playoff team. But this is just way too comfortable a margin now mm -hmm. for the Mets. They're too good a team. And as far as the Phillies go, the Phillies stink. I mean, the <laughs> Phillies between the defense that we saw in the first inning, the defense that is abominable. There are teams basically in men's leagues across the five Burrows wow. that play better defense than what wow. I saw from Philadelphia today. Philadelphia is cooked, and Joe Girardi, I feel for the guy. He's one of my favorite managers. He's going to be out of a job. <laughs> well, it's before a good too thing long. that the Mets didn't lose to them then because that would have been pretty Still bad. Still want a series, <laughs> though. Still would have yes, won a series. Yes, definitely. Well, we know that there's some concern about the bullpen after what we saw. Drew Smith getting hurt, Ottavino kind of ineffective. Uh, I mean, especially in that eighth inning. Um, Anthony, where would you go from here? Well, it's a great question because they've already dipped into the minors. I mean, Colin Holderman has obviously performed very well. They've gotten something from uh, Nagosik as well. So they're running out of options, and so they're you know it's a little too early to to start trading. I don't think the give ups team the give up teams are out there looking to deal relievers just yet. So the Mets are in a tough bind, but they need to address the depth in the bullpen. JJ and Adovino scares me. I mean, Adovino is a guy that you're counting on to get big outs there. I don't trust him. You saw it with the Red Sox. You saw it with the Yankees. Mets going to be a bullpen armor too. Mark my words. Yes, well, they will be certainly celebrating after coming from behind once again.